Hi, uh, today I want to address miracles or not miracles, basically. Uh, let me see, years, a few years ago in uh, Washington, D.C., I had a rocket scientist in my class. He helped send something to Venus, which, you know, I don't think it was a letter, but he was real proud of that. And, you know, it cost millions and millions of dollars, and I thought, you know, I'd rather... Uh, develop efficient energy sources and feed the children of the planet and educate the people of the planet. Um, but he was real proud of this, and uh, we got talking about miracles, and he informed me there was no such thing as miracles. He was a rocket scientist, so now I fucking believe that there's no... Ooh. What the heck? Um, so now I don't believe in miracles, but uh, I was talking about miracles, and he said, you can't use the one that all parents use, babies. They're not miracles. And I must have said something about it in a video, because uh, Richard informed me that uh, having babies is not a miracle. Uh, Bill Hicks used to do a great routine on that. Uh, and uh, if you think about it, it's really not. Uh, it's like the uh, Polish sex manual, and I use Polish not because I've ever met anybody who was Polish who was stupid, but because that's the ethnic group that we picked on when I was a kid. Uh, here in Switzerland, you would say Austrian. If I were in Texas, I would say Aggies, uh, Texas A&M, and I, again, I've never met a uh, dumb Aggie. Was that, uh, what I've heard is if you know an Aggie, they're usually your boss. But at any rate, uh, it's like the uh, Polish sex manual, in, out, repeat if necessary. Uh, and that's about it, you know what I mean? You get that part down, uh, and uh, nine months later, very frequently, babies pop out and pop out in great numbers in some uh, economies and uh, groups. Uh, so it's not really a miracle, and I got to thinking, what is it? What is it that so enthralls me? Uh, and it happened in Spain. I was in Spain last weekend. I was teaching. I had a booth at a chiropractic show, and I sit and I talk to people about what I do: uh, enlightenment theory, uh, living a more magnificent life, and enhancing their lives, and not knowing how to do it. Uh, but uh, after we were done working. Usually I'm in a real relaxed, happy, and maybe not even happy, just kind of a perfect state where I see things as perfect. Uh, my oldest son, Micah, and his girlfriend, Annabelle, said, come on, we've got a restaurant that we want you to take us to, <laughs> which I appreciate. They're students. Uh, and they had found an Ethiopian restaurant. And we sat down, and I don't know if I've ever been to an Ethiopian restaurant. Abraham was our waiter. And just a wonderful kid, uh, spoke English extremely well. And near the end of our lunch... A beautiful young woman came in, and Abraham walked out to the front of the restaurant and helped her with her baby cart. And as she walked in, she had this baby that was about a month old. I had stood up to pay, and I looked at the baby, and the baby was absolutely dazzlingly beautiful, as all babies are to me. And uh, I said, can I hold your baby? And she, too, spoke English real well. And we're in Spain, okay? And I took the baby, and the baby and I locked eyes. And... When, after I work, I go out into a different dimension, which I really enjoy. Well, this made it exponential. It, it took me out into really neat higher states of awareness uh, just by locking eyes with the baby. And, and the mom watched us for a few minutes. She said, I've never seen her lock eyes. I've never seen her just stare at another person, uh, which was an interesting thing for me at that time. I gave the baby back, of course, and uh, stayed out in that state for a little while longer. But uh, when Micah was born, he was number two. We had him at home because I believe it's safer. And uh, they don't stab your babies with things uh, when you have them at home because you don't let them usually. But Micah came out of the womb and uh, somebody was sitting on the end of the bed with him. And Micah and Mia, who was about 18 months old, came up and touched him and they went eye to eye. Just and the midwife in our bedroom where the baby was delivered, where there was an old wicker chair. She sat down in the chair, and Mercy had delivered 4,000 babies. And she says, my God, she says, I've never seen a baby search somebody out and stare at them eye to eye. They don't seem to do that. So uh, maybe it's not a miracle, but the operating system they're running on, I find fascinating. I agree with you, it's not a miracle, but... Boy, I like the energy around him, and that's why when Nicole wanted number six, I had to say yes. Willing to do my part, of course. What a guy, huh? www.micpeakperformance.com